have a box. What's in the box? Who's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Was good. What is up, guys? My name is Kawaii Case. Today, we are doing the Would You Rather Challenge with this game box we found at five below. Okay, that was a little too excited. All right. Here, hurry up. <laughs> hey guys, it's Koi Case, and I'm here with my boyfriend, Yosef, who also... I have a box. box. I have a box this time. What, would you like to tell us what's in the box? I can. Basically, we were at Five Below together, and we were looking at the games, and we stumbled upon this box. It's a Would You Rather game, and we both thought it would be a cool idea to play it live and direct on the channel. So we'll see how this goes. Maybe you'll learn a thing or two about us in the process. So sit back, enjoy. All right, about to open this box up. <laughs> Some cards. All right, the box did not have to be this big. Bro, that's it. It was literally just these two cards. On each card, there is a dilemma. Would you rather A or would you rather B? The objective is to guess the other person's answer. So if I draw a card and I read out what the dilemma is, Caitlin is going to guess whether I choose A or B. I'm then going to tell her what I choose, and if she gets it right, she gets to keep the card. Whoever has the most cards at the end wins. Good job. Would I rather A, absorb the memories of anybody I touch, or absorb their bank account? <laughs> I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with B, their bank account. Why? Because we're on that college budget. Also, he loves his memories. You know, if you have too much going on up there. I am indeed broke, and I would indeed choose Dilemma B, absorb their bank account. Take that's the sick. Car, fine. Yeah, that'd be kind of sick. Actually, that's terrible. We're just taking people's money. Okay, I didn't even look at it that from that perspective. I'm taking their money. Yeah. What do you mean? Oh man. I don't know. I'm not trying to take their memories either. Like this mess. I up. mean, oh, you actually take it, take it, or like. That's what I'm saying. Oh yeah, you're absorbing it. So you're. I mean, absorb means to like. If I take someone's memories, like they learn how, they forget how to walk and everything. So it'll be less messed up to take their bank. Think about it like that. Okay. I'll give you an easy one. Okay. Would I rather A, marry a rich, shallow investment banker, or B, a poor, brilliant artist? Poor, brilliant artist. B, you're already dating a broke, brilliant artist in myself, so. I, I pick B. But then I read it, when I read it out loud, I was like, wait, but if I had the banker, I'd be good. Like, bro. <laughs> Go ahead. Would I rather A, be able to fast forward life, or B, be able to rewind it? My answer, confidently, is B, rewind it. Because you would definitely go back and relive the Frank Ocean experience. You like life and you don't want to rush it. You're like a waste of time. So that's why I picked B. I was really like thinking about this one. A, being able to fast forward life. And I was thinking about it, like, that could be very useful, like, when Caitlin's getting ready in the morning <laughs> and you don't want to wait, like, on a roller coaster, what if I just fast forward through the line, mm. right? And then I was thinking about rewinding it and, like, going back in time and experiencing things again. And personally, I just don't like the idea of rewinding or fast forwarding time because I feel like as human beings, we, like, abuse that power. But if I had to choose one of them, I choose fast forward just because I feel like things in the past are meant to happen like once and like that's the beauty of it. So it makes it special. I feel like everything just happens for a reason. Psych boy. <laughs> yeah, that I was wrong. Saying, I get that one. Dang. Here we go. Would I rather A. Notice live maggots in my Milky Way after I've eaten two big bites 
Or B, find a few fingernails at the bottom of my Caesar salad. I think you would choose dilemma B, finding toenails at the bottom of your Caesar salad. I know you don't like salad or lettuce, mm. but I feel like if you were to eat a chocolate bar, like obviously like it would taste weird, right? But you would just like wouldn't think anything of it. And like maybe when you're chewing down on like your Milky Way, it's like a nut. Like nuts, but it's actually a maggot and you find that out. As opposed to like if you're eating a Caesar salad and there's toenail clippings at the bottom, like you would know if like you swallowed a toenail clipping. Like mm. there's no mistake. One clarification, I don't hate also, salad. Also, you don't even like lettuce. Yeah, you but love chocolate. I do. So, would you rather have your favorite, <laughs> like one of your favorite candies, like ruined, or something that you already dislike? I just felt like the fact that they're live just does something different to me. You know, like they're moving around. You know what I'm it's saying? It's in your stomach. Go with dilemma B, by the way. Yep, that's what I picked. Boom. <laughs> Racking them up. All right, all right. Would I rather A. Be able to insist on paying the check but never get stuck with it, or B, know exactly what the person on the other end of the phone looks like? I feel like you wouldn't care what the other person on the phone looks like, but at the same time, I feel like you, and I feel like you like treating people. <laughs> I guess. Oh. I'm like nervous. Like I want you to get it right, but I feel like you're gonna get it wrong. Oh, no, why? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Okay, who would you want to see? Like, I'm confused. FaceTime, like, <laughs> what do you mean? You would rather insist on the check, A. No? Dude, I'm having it. I have to pay that. You always gotta offer to pay the check. At least, like, on the phone thing, it's cool. Like, <laughs> like it doesn't have changed my life. <laughs> I got it wrong again. It's okay. Well, do I even know you? I don't know. This is sad. Gosh, it's violent. Does it matter? No, I want to read it first. Okay. It's so gruesome. Like, what do you mean? Whatever. Okay, would I rather A. Have my head implode or B. Have my head explode? I would go B. Explode. Like the airhead commercials. Like the airhead commercials. Remember, he keeps seeing the airhead and his head explodes. Come on, duty to your heads! Mm. Why didn't you blast off? <laughs> Maybe not. Airheads flavor! Out of control! Is that, is that your reasoning? Yeah, but it's also just cooler. What? Just her head exploded or her head imploded. Gosh. There's a cooler way to go out. I, I thought, I feel like the ex exploded one would be like quick. So I don't feel it. That's the reason why I picked me explode. I don't want to go down no, like that. either way. Give me that card. Add it to the stack. Dang, dude. You're gonna get this one though. Okay, would I rather A, be Dr. Grass, a superhero whose power is to induce grass stains, or B, the Summarizer, a superhero who can consistently express, concise, oh my gosh, see that's why. <laughs> B, the Summarizer, a superhero who can concisely express any given situation. B. <laughs> no, I'm not. Stand by that. Why? Wholeheartedly. Why? Because you don't do a good job of summarizing. You tell the whole thing from but you like the start that. to back every detail. I thought you like that. Whether it's important to the story or I not. I thought you like that. I do. Okay then, don't hate on me. I'm just saying, summarizing is a talent. And I wish I had. Okay. And you think I wish I had? Which one would you rather choose, A or B? I'm not gonna lie, Dr. Grass is sick. It is cool. <laughs> like, that's like, like, that's like such a cool, like, power. Like, it's one of those things where, like, you know, you get, like, oh my gosh, you could just be a person that just, like, causes, like, the minor inconveniences. Like, Mr. Super Inconvenience. They would, like, if they looked at you or, like, snapped, then your zipper would get stuck. <laughs> like you couldn't unzip it, or like just the most inconvenient stuff, or like maybe like your like, like your milk in your fridge is like empty and only has like this much, and just grass stains, just like to piss people off. Like it's literally for nothing else. But yeah, if I could be a summarizer, that'd be pretty cool. I like I take a while to tell stories. Bang. 
Not rather interview Bill Clinton or Michael Jordan. A. Bill Clinton. B. Michael Jordan. Are you, are you sure about that? Are you sure it's Michael Jordan? Like, why do you why do you want to talk to Bill Clinton for? President of the United States. Okay. To learn about our country's secrets. No, no, you're not telling me that's wrong. You are not telling me that's wrong. I'm just saying. Are you sure? I don't know. You're only really hyping up. Like, Area 51. 9-11, the moon landing, everything. Well, I mean, I'd be cheating if I change it now. It'd be Michael Jordan. <laughs> he's the GOAT. He's the GOAT? Mm -hmm. Okay, he's basketball, so that's why I picked him. I love basketball. Yeah. Would I rather A, be double-jointed, or B, have near invincibility at Connect Four? Connect Four. Connect Four is a satisfying I, game to win. I already have B, though. You lose every time at Dave and Buster's. I don't lose every time! Basketball? Can I pour? I do not lose every time! Okay, fine. You have like a 5% win percentage <laughs> on like lucky shots. Five? The audacity! Dude, that's your... Mm -hmm. I don't appreciate this. You're rude. You're not good. At so. first, I'm like... <laughs> At first, I was like, okay, I like to play fair and square. It's kind of unfair if I just, like, have it. But then maybe it's just, like, a talent I have. Just a talent. Yeah, so I don't like the idea of talent. I think I, would, I believe in working hard. Talent is definitely a real thing. I don't I don't know if I believe in it's talent. It's 100% real. I don't. We, we're going to get into this. <laughs> you know how many people play soccer? Okay. There's people that play soccer probably, like, more than, so like, professional soccer players. Soccer players have talent. Like they're, you're just born with talent. You're just naturally athletic. Like, no. there's nothing you can do. Like, like hard work definitely is like a thing, right? Like, okay. There, there's such thing as talent. There's such thing as hard work. Okay. If you put both of those together, you're like a professional athlete or like an artist. Mm -hmm. But at a certain point, like you have to have talent in order for your hard work to pay off. Oh my gosh, that makes me sad. Why does I that like make you that. sad? Cause like, what if someone really like wants to do something? You're telling them they can't do it because they don't have talent. Hundred. No matter how hard they try. A hundred percent. I don't. I'm very much a like an optimist. I want everyone to succeed. Like I want them. I want. If you believe, what would happen to following your dreams and like? If I you put get, your mind to it. I can get do vocal it. lessons every single day of my life and practice and practice and work hard. I will never be able to sing like Michael Jackson, like Stevie Wonder. Okay, that's different because like singing is like it's like art where like some people like some people some people like the sound, some people don't. So like you could be good and you don't have to sound good, like it to other people's eyes. So that's not a very good example. At first I got it, but then I was like, wait, no, it doesn't make sense. Because Childish Gambino has improved immensely at singing but he's still not a good singer in my opinion compared to other people like i like his music i like his voice same thing with tyler like, he'll never be able to achieve what he wants to do just because like he's not as talented as other people at singing like fully like that's why you need other people it makes me sad i don't like that so i just don't believe it <laughs> you're mine. would i rather have my face strapped to a power sander for two minutes or have my pinky fingers chopped off, fried, and fed to my partner. Which is you. You want me to eat your pinky? Just, just think about the pros and cons and what I value. It's your face. It's going to ruin your face if you do the sandpaper one. Mm. You want to be pretty. You want to stay pretty. You're not gonna ruin it with some sandpaper thing. You're just like to troll me. You wouldn't mind if I take the L and then you eat your pinky. Troll you? I would never. I would never troll you. And so that's why I have chosen my answer. I would rather have my pinky fingers chopped off and fed to you. Mm -hmm. What is wrong with you? We're both taking the L. I'm not going down by myself. It makes it, it, makes it feel a little bit better. <gasps> Dude, I don't want to do that. Hurry up. Aww. 
all? Both of these are good. Would I rather A, only be able to pick up guys through middle school style notes folded with hearts, or B, by window side serenades of hits from the early 80s? Those are both pretty cool. I need to do notes. Because you like worked really hard to get your handwriting right. And you like write notes like now. Even to like your Poshmark customers. Mm. Check out Caitlin's Poshmark. It's a free promo right there. <laughs> I guess I'll go with A because that is more my style, I feel like, if anything. Yeah, you don't have the balls. I, yeah, I, I, I thought it in my head. But that makes me, that makes me upset that people think that about, my, about me. <laughs> What's your favorite early 80s, early 80s hit? Oh, I don't, I don't exactly, know. Exactly, boom. But I feel like it's just like a romantic thing. Like, how cool is that? Would I rather be immune to illness or immune to bullets? Immune to illness. Come on, dude. Are you serious? You pick, you pick illness. <laughs> Bro, imagine being immune to bullets. Dude, when- You are literally Superman. <laughs> when do you come upon? Okay, you're thinking what I would pick. I think that's a problem. Because the thing is, how often do you come across bullets? Never. How often do I get sick? Well, when you do get sick, it lasts freaking forever. So wouldn't it be nice to just like not get sick? I don't get sick. Like when it happens, it's just like for a long time and then I'm good. For, exactly, like, but like why just be good? Why can't you be just good the whole time? Bro, thank you. Think you about never it. come across bullets. Think? You don't know that. Okay, but it's very, very, okay. The probability of you going to bullets and the probability of you getting an illness Illness is way higher. Illness is a part of life. So is getting if you got a bullet. <laughs> you, you try. <laughs> Dude, you can't avoid that part of life. Dude, Dude, think about not being able to get shot. Like, you were literally <laughs> Superman. Superman's lame. You won't say it to his face, though. I rest my case. What do you mean? I would say it to his face. Then he'd attack you, then what would you He's do? He's Superman! Shoot him? Oh, wait, man. <laughs> He's, wait, why couldn't I? Oh. <laughs> He's Superman, dude! Bow He's your a, head. He's a nice guy! Bow your head. He's a good guy. He wouldn't hurt me. Try again. He's a good Try guy. Try again next time. He wouldn't hurt me. This is a good one. Would I rather, A, have control of the weather, or the speed of delivery drivers? These are like cool superpowers. Just little first world problems you can solve. I get it wrong, man. I always get them wrong. Manifest positive energy, right? Okay, the answer. Ah, it is. I'm gonna pick the right one. No. <laughs> yeah. Don't do that. Just recreate. Yeah. All right, we already did this one <laughs> before the camera died. And she chose B, the speed of delivery drivers. So let me tell you guys why that's wrong. Imagine if you could control the weather. Where we live in Northern Virginia. Oh, I want to go to DC tomorrow. Let me make the weather nice. Right? Oh, it's Christmas. Let me make it snow on Christmas. You literally yes, have I think that, so much control. Yeah, I think that's so cool. But the thing is, I keep picking the wrong stuff when I think it's cool. So that's why I picked the other one. I'm like, oh, he can get his pizza faster. <laughs> At least he gets oh, pizza. He loves cares? pizza, so he gets pizza. I will wait the 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Would I rather like have my belly button double as an electrical outlet? Outlet? <laughs> or be able to swap my face with anyone else's at any time? I'm gonna get this wrong. Okay, based off the other one, I'm gonna say swapping faces. Am I wrong? I wait. mean, like... Okay, wait. Okay, no, so no, 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 let, me, let me just say, like, let me just say one thing. Okay. I think I would never want to swap faces with anyone. Yeah. Because I'm happy with who I am. Right. But just, like, plugging something into me is just so weird. <laughs> but if I had to choose between one or the other, I would choose, like, swapping my face. Just because, like, why would I... Why would I put something in my belly button? Like, I know it's convenient. Like, what if you need an outlet? Oh, let me charge my phone. No, babe, I belly literally button. was gonna pick belly button initially because you don't, like your phone's always dead. So like, if you could just plug in your belly button, like, it's so easy. Like, you always have access. Swapping faces would be funny. I'd be like, ha ha. <laughs> like you- I'd just turn into that guy whenever I feel like <laughs> it. 
Would I rather A, have the physique of an enlarged baby, or B, have the voice of a baby? <laughs> have the voice of a baby, come on. Yeah. You can get my new room. That'd be sick. I know, I'd be so sick. Okay, this is our, this is my final card. Because we just, we feel like- I stuff. won. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He said that so aggressively. Ah. He said that so aggressively. Dude, can you just relax? Okay, fine. Alright, restart. No, I'm putting you in there. <laughs> you probably your laugh, dude. Okay, fine. Alright, so this is my last card, so let's just see what happens here. I don't know, I lost already, but... One can try. This is gross, but I don't know. Go ahead. <sighs> Would I rather A, slide naked down a fireman's pole, covered with tacks, into a pool of scotch, or mm -hmm, B, cheese grate the skin off my left forearm. Cheese grate the skin. Why would you ever want to do A? <laughs> that's just like, that's like so extreme to cheese grate. <laughs> Why would cheese grate my skin? I'll get all the dead skin off. What? We'd probably do more than that, but yeah, I know that. That, that one's definitely lowers. Yeah, what the? It's pretty bad. Like, I feel like just doing the tax was fine. I was like, okay, tax down the pole. Into no, a pool not. of scotch. So it's gonna cut you up, and then you're gonna bleed, and like the alcohol. All right, guys, so that is the end of our Would You Rather game. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got to learn a little bit more about us. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Have some. You're gonna pull on an L. Take the L, Caitlin. No, I don't want to. You're rude. So yeah, he won. I guess I don't know him, and I'm just very bad at guessing. Anything you would like to say? Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure you thumbs up the video if you liked it. Yep. I'll see you guys in my next one, and probably see him in the next one. Bye.